Hello, I'm Judy. Some of you will remember me from Messy Church, and I'm going to tell you a bit of a story about Peter, one of Jesus' friends. One day, when Jesus was out with his 12 friends, I think he wanted a bit of peace and quiet. So he said to his friend, you get in the boat and sail across the lake, and then I'll catch up with you later. Now, I've got two boats here, um, my boat, one of them's a, a Viking ship and the other one is a reed boat from South America. Anyway, they sailed away across the lake and suddenly they, it was getting dark and they saw someone coming near to them walking on the water and they thought, this must be a ghost and they were frightened. And Jesus said, don't be frightened, it's me, your friend, Jesus. So Peter, who always wanted to do everything in a hurry, said, if you're walking on the water, can I walk on the water? And Jesus said, yes, of course you can. So Peter got out of this boat and he started walking on the water towards Jesus. But then he suddenly got frightened and thought, what am I doing on this water? And he fell off and he was going to drown. But good thing, Jesus was there and Jesus pulled him out of the water and rescued him. And let's stand them up. There we are, they're together. And Jesus said, why were you so frightened, Peter? You should have trusted me. You knew I'd keep you safe. And after that, I'm sure they got back into the boat and they all sailed off across the lake. Did you see how Judy made Peter and Jesus an invisible float so it looked as though they were walking on water? Well, your messy church challenge this week is to act out the story of Peter and Jesus. You could use a small plastic person, maybe Playmobil or Lego. You could use a paddling pool or a washing up bowl. Whatever you do, if you're going to go near some water, remember to tell your mum and dad that you're going to do it. And it might be better if you could do it outside in the garden. Or if you're going to the seaside, perhaps you could even do it in a pool by the side of the sea. Send us some photos if you do, we'd love to see them. Now, Lynn is going to show us what we're going to do in our prayer space this week. So watch carefully. Peter was one of Jesus' best friends. When he thought his life was in danger, he lied when people asked, was he his friend? And he said, I've never met Jesus. Jesus talks a lot about forgiving and about saying sorry. And every time we say the Lord's Prayer, we ask God to forgive us our sins. He teaches us to say sorry every day for the things that we do, which we're not supposed to do. Maybe we've been unkind to a friend or maybe to mum and dad. Maybe we've taken something that belonged to someone else. We're going to make some butterflies that are going to help you with our sorry prayers. You'll need some thick kitchen roll, some ordinary felt pens which are not waterproof. We need a clothes peg and we need a shallow cup or a jar with a tiny bit of water in it and a pair of scissors. Now take time to think about something you've done that you want to say sorry to God for. Or, or think about someone you need to forgive. Maybe you'd like to stop in, um, the video for a little while and have a think. Remember that Jesus forgave Peter for disowning him three times and he forgives every single time we ask him to. Now we're going to fold the kitchen paper and cut it in the shape of a butterfly ring. Using felt pens we're going to write on the butterfly. We could write something like, I'm sorry, I was being unkind to, and put the person's name. Or you might write, dear God, thank you for forgiving me when I do things wrong. And make it as colourful as you can. When you've done that, you fold the wings and you dip it in the water and you watch as the water spreads 
and it will make a beautiful butterfly. Now you can see that the sad thoughts that you had have been washed away because Jesus died so that our sins could be forgiven when we say sorry to God. That was one that I did earlier and I wrote on it what I wanted to say sorry to God for. And look, when I put it in the water, it's gone away. Jesus has washed it away. And this is one I made earlier as well and that's where you put the peg and it makes a beautiful butterfly and you could put it on the window or on the wall of your room and decorate it but remember Jesus died that our sins could be forgiven when we say sorry to God now I'm going to say a prayer Heavenly Father we thank you that you forgive us our sins we thank you that we can come to you and say we're sorry. And we thank you that we can talk to you about anything. There's nothing that we can't tell you. And you will be listening. And Heavenly Father, help us to forgive other people the same way as you forgive us. Through Jesus' sake. Amen. That's my first butterfly, which is dry. And now I'm just going to finish off the next butterfly I've done, which says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And I'm going to dip it in some water in an egg cup to see what happens and what the finished product looks like. So while I'm waiting for that, I've got three questions for you. The first question is, what was Peter's job before he saw Jesus? Second question, why did Peter try to walk on the water? And the third question, why was Peter sad on the day that Jesus died? You might want to stop the video while you think about those questions. But even though Peter abandoned Jesus at the end, he was reminded that he had asked Jesus once, Jesus, how many times am I supposed to forgive my neighbour? And Jesus said to him, Ooh, about 70 times, seven times, Peter. Now, I don't think Peter was very good at doing his 70 times table. But what Jesus really meant was that you have to keep on forgiving lots and lots of times. Because that's what God does to us. And we're lucky that we have such an amazing God who forgives us and loves us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for Messy Church today. Thank you for the story of Peter, which teaches us about forgiving other people and also about trusting in you. Help us to trust you this week as we follow you. Lord, we trust you to keep us safe and to look after our families and all those people who are special to us. Lord, Thank you so much for everything you gave us and thank you for Jesus. Thank you that you are our great big God and thank you for all your grace to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. We're coming to the end of our messy church now, so we'd love to see some photographs if you've taken some while you're doing these activities. Send them to us and we'll include them. And we're, in a moment, we're going to do the Messy Church Grace, which Liz and her family have filmed for us this week. And then after that, it's going to go on and we're going to sing Our God is a Great Big God, which reminds us of how fantastic God is. And he keeps on loving us and holding us in his hand. So that's it for this week. We look forward to joining us next week when we're talking about the story of Martha and Mary. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.